All right, guys, how's it going? It is a Friday, the 19th of July, 2019, and you're watching CartTalk.tv. All right. How's it going? You're all right, yeah? What are you doing this weekend? Let me know in the comments section. I like to read all your comments. I can't reply to them all, uh, but I do like to read them. Uh, and I like to know what, you, uh, what you've been up to, because you're like family to me, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, what have you been doing this week? Yeah. I'm back on the, uh, on the lifestyle change. You know, I did 10 months on it. Yeah, I didn't have a pint for 10 months or, or anything like that, um, lost six and a half stone, went to New York in May, as you know, uh, always difficult to stick to stuff like that when you're traveling, uh, put half a stone on then, came back uh, last couple of months, I found it a bit difficult to get back into a routine, so I put another half a stone, so I put a stone on in the last, what, two months or something like that, shows you how quick it can fucking soon go back on, doesn't it? Uh, so I was like, you know what, I need to get myself sorted, so like, I'm back on the vodka diet coke. I can't have the Magnus anymore. I, I went 10 months without a Magnus, guys. Last Friday, for example, right? Last Friday, I had 20 pints of Magnus. It's fucking mental. I don't even know I'm dead. And then Saturday night, I reckon I probably had close to again, uh, but with a few other things, do you know what I mean? So drinks, drinks. Uh, then I just thought, you know, nah, nah, I've got to get, get back on it. So I'm back on the vodka diet coke. Now there's no carbs in it, but... You know when it's sunny and you sit out in the sun, you want like a nice ice cold beer or cider or pine, don't you? You sit there and it's refreshing, yeah? When you have vodka, you know, like two, three o'clock in the afternoon, you, you know, can I have a vodka Diet Coke, please? You know, it's not a drink you want, do you know what I mean, guys? And a measure out here is like that. So that, like a pint in the sun, you're like that. Oh, fucking, that's beautiful. Vodka, you're like that. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, you know, first one you have. And vodka's all right when you're pissed, isn't it? But your first drink and to make it worse out here you get two and i'm talking two huge uh vodkas diet cokes for three, three euros 50 which it doesn't help either does it so uh, yeah i'm back on it and uh, i started on monday and i've lost half a stone already this week so i'm bossing it again so uh no problems with that uh we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, continue uh, persevering with that as you do uh anyway so Enough of that, bollocks. Um, let me know what you've been up to this week and what you're doing this weekend, all right? I, I, I do care, I'm interested. Um, so, I wanted to talk to you about Nabil Thicke, that Thicke. Uh, quite, you know I'm in Spain, oh, can I got a mark on me, fuck a bit of bleach on me thing. Hey, oh, hey, oh, cap, keep that down there. Um, what was I saying? Uh, that fecker. Uh, yesterday, uh, obviously I'm in Spain, and the media over here were running and raving, saying he was off to Real Betis, uh, that the deal was more or less complete, five-year contract, uh, terms agreed, etc., etc. It was trending on Twitter over here as well. Uh, it wasn't in the UK, because I did check, and I wasn't sure whether people back home knew what was happening, really. So I went on the Cop Talk members website, as you do, you get free DKB.TV if you remember, and you support me. Um, go to coptalk.com forward, uh, no, no, to coptalk.com top right corner, it says members, you know, come on, come on guys, get on board, and uh, I went on there yesterday uh, and updated the troops about what was happening out here, and I think I, uh, well, let's have a look, uh, media going crazy here in Spain about uh, him joining Real Betis for around £23 million, pounds. Um, I've read up today on some, you know, some some British uh, mainstream media reports that are saying it's twenty six million, um, and it sounds like it could be getting put to bed soon, which is probably a good thing to be honest, uh, because obviously uh, I think Liverpool have still been interested. You know, some people think now nah, it's been dead ever since. I think Liverpool have still been interested, but I think they had their valuation uh, in their mind as to what they were willing to pay and. From memory, all right, and uh, I have a terrible memory, uh, I think that Liverpool thought that they could get him for around 15 million. Now then, let's have a look. And this is the last report on coptalk.com uh, back in June the 13th. Uh, it could be sold for as little as 15 million. So you can see what the boss could be thinking here, especially when it was 53 million valuation uh, previously. Now then, now then, now then, all right, okay, I won't do that one. Um, so some people have been saying, 23 million, that's cheap, why have Liverpool not gone in for him? Now there's a suggestion, right, that Leon are trying to do a deal with clubs, right, with clubs, um, 
if anyone hasn't watched my videos before, they won't understand it when I do all these clubs and fantastic. They won't get it, will they? Um, there's a suggestion that Leon have been trying to do a, a double deal that includes his brother, right? Maybe that's where there could have been some complications concerning Liverpool because I'm not convinced by all this medical stuff. Now, now there might have like been an issue that was flagged up last year or whatever, but I, you know, we all know that when there's when the stuff like that, you can have uh, insurance and things like that. And I believe that the deal last year didn't go through because of a failure in negotiations in relation to in relation. I'm only pissed then. Twenty Magnus again. Um, in relation to. Uh, insurance premiums. In other words, Liverpool were like, all right, that's your valuation, but, you know, we want some insurance here, just in case out goes wrong with his fucking knee. All right? And I think that's where they failed to negotiate. Okay? Yeah, that's what I was told anyway. And um, nothing happened. You know, that's what I think. I just think the whole deal collapsed because I don't believe Liverpool were like, we're not, we're not signing, we're not interested in signing. I think Liverpool were like, all right, we'll still do business, but you know, we have to take this into account. We need some protection, you know, which is common sense. Now, uh, that deal obviously didn't, didn't go ahead. Uh, he remained where he was for the season. And, you know, people were like, oh, we don't want him. He's, he's injury prone and he's, he's, you know, and all that. But I tell you what, did you see his knee score some fucking great goals last season? Anyway, um, <clears throat> so he's got this, he's got a brother, right, called Yassin. It's true. Uh, y a double -S, s i n. I think he's a forward. Yes, he's 22 years of age, and I think he made his debut last season. Let me have a look. He made his professional debut for Lyon uh, in December 2018, coming in as a late substitute. He's the younger brother of the French international footballer Nabil Fekir. Now then, uh, it says here. Uh, his, his previous record, he was with a club, I don't know this club at all, V-A-U-L-X. I'm not even going to look it up, guys. It's irrelevant anyway. 28 appearances, 19 goals. Leon 2, which obviously is Leon, you know, the reserves or B team or whatever. Uh, I mean, I, I'm going to click on it just so I can uh, tell you, yeah, the reserves and academy or whatever. Uh, 50 appearances, 13 goals. And then he's got that one appearance for the for the senior team, Leon with a zero return, obviously is a, a substitute. Now, what I've uh, what, what I've read out here is that Real Betis are, are quite up for this suggestion, uh, or have certainly discussed the possibility of signing both players. Now, I don't know if that would mean signing them both at the same time, or maybe just some some sort of agreement uh, with regards uh, the brother, uh, the younger brother in the future. Now, um, you know, because people are like, well, why are Liverpool not doing it? And I think that Liverpool are just not... I, I genuinely think that Klopp was still interested in him this summer. But I think that they just had their valuation. And um, you got a valuation, you stick to it. It's as simple as that. Maybe there was a complication in terms of this, you know, this younger brother. Who knows? Will, will we ever know? Um, now, the only thing is... You know, I have always been suspicious of that friendly with Leon on the 31st of July. You know, I just, I've always been like, I, like, I guess in the back of my mind, I've always thought, I wonder what will, you know, if anything could come from that fixture, you know, relations and stuff like that. I've always, you know, I just don't know, you look at stuff like that, don't you think, it's a bit weird, isn't it? And um, the arranging of the friendly or whatever didn't make me think there was anything going to happen. But it made me think, if his future is resolved by then, you know, then maybe something will. Who knows? Now then, before I uh, started recording this video for you lovely people, uh, I had a little nosy uh, online uh, to see if there was any um, reports, you know, what the latest was, basically, what the latest was. And, um, you know, it's banging on about you know, um, that Real Betis are increasingly confident, you know, that's coming from, from Spain. Arsenal heavily linked, Tottenham, uh, obviously Liverpool are getting th thrown in there still. But I kind of thought that yesterday, because of the intensity of the reports that were here in Spain, that uh, maybe something would happen within 24 hours. It, it sounded like it was, um, sounded like it was very, very close. Um, 
like I said, the, 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 the British media are caught in 26 million. Um, I think it's just turned 26 as well as this, as this lad, I think. See me, when I'm not sure about something, I have to look it up straight away, and I'm probably, you know, I probably should have all this done, but you know me, I just hit the camera, re-record and go. Um, July 18th, yeah, his birthday was yesterday, so. Anyway, so the reason for this video um, is to say that the, the suggestion here in Spain yesterday was that the deal was all but done for him to go to Real Betis, I think I said earlier in this video, I think I, I mentioned 23 million. Um, UK reports of today are saying 26. But there's still nothing, you know, nothing's come out official. Uh, a five year contract. Um, and then this possibility uh, of his, um, the possibility of his brother being included in some deal. And I just wanted to, to bring that to your attention, you know, because maybe you're not aware that he even had a fucking brother that was a professional footballer at Leon. Uh, and that's it. And also, just to say, I generally think that he's, he was still on our radar this summer. And I still think that the, the, the manager is looking for a player like that. And I still wouldn't rule out Coutinho. Honestly, I really wouldn't. Um, but, you know, I have no Twitter ITK, guys. You know what I'm saying? All right. I might have done this for 21 years now, is it? Or something like that. But, you know, I wouldn't know anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, I prefer to uh, to talk about what people are talking about and let you know people that are promoting betting affiliations and things like that uh, convince you uh, differently. I don't know. The Coutinho thing for me um, kind of makes sense, but it's all about the digits. A player like Philip Coutinho becomes available, you 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 try and sign him. Do you know what I mean? He's a Brazilian. He's a fucking good player. We've got to try and put the emotional like thing to one side. How he left the club etc and you've got to look at money that's owed or possibly or or you know how much they would want for him and, and, and other things like that now there was an article that i did on on coptalk.com uh earlier this week i think philip coutinho wants liverpool return um there was uh it says here one of our most reliable and trusted sources posted on the cop talks members website last week not this week guys last week uh, that his agent had offered his client to Liverpool. Uh, the source posted, Philip's agent has spoken to Liverpool to see if they would be interested in signing. The player has also indicated via former teammates that he would be open to a return. Asked if Liverpool were interested, the source responded, it's being looked at, but apparently the manager is looking at someone else. And there was an additional source that said, Coutinho deep, deeply regrets leaving Liverpool. If Liverpool can agree something with Barcelona, he will return to Anfield. Right now, the manager... Uh, seems more focused on other options, but if the numbers are attractive, something could happen. You could say that the manager has three players, Coutinho is one of them, uh, who would jump at the chance to come in, but as was proven with uh, De Ligt, uh, wanting the move isn't enough. The expenditure has to be right for the manager. There is no truth that Liverpool are currently trying to sign Coutinho. It is Coutinho who is trying to sign for Liverpool. So he's trying to get the move back. He's trying to get the move back. That's the sort of player Liverpool would want, but it's all about the Wonga guys, you know what I'm saying? But um, we shall have to wait and see. We shall have to wait and see. Um, I'm still upbeat. I'm still upbeat about things. So anyway, I won't waffle on any longer. When I do long videos, it starts freezing for some reason. I think my computer goes, oh, I'm sick of seeing your chubby fucking cheeks. So, um, right, that's it. All right, I'm off. Um, I am going over to dkb.tv now. If you would like to watch my uh, additional videos, I have hundreds of extra videos at dkb.tv that have been added over the years. Uh, the, the information is in the video description below, all right? And uh, and if you do join the Top members website, you get it free anyway, so. Uh, and it's just support uh, for me and, and the content I do, guys, all right? And trust me, I need every fucking one of you to, uh, to sign up. <laughs> It's difficult these days, honestly, it's difficult these days, what with social media and that, things have changed on the internet, so, I won't waffle on anymore, um, I, I, I've got a message that's coming I need to do with anyway, so if you're a DKB.TV subscriber and you watched um, this video, you want to be going over to the other side, uh, there'll be something there for you shortly if it's not there already, okay guys, uh, I welcome your thoughts on Fakir and Coutinho and anyone else who the manager may be looking at. All right, I'll speak to you in a bit. All right.